well, I've been in and out of Montana pretty much my whole life. And uh, we have a family ranch. And, uh, and looking for new uses of the beef off the ranch. And, um, and wanting to do something here in Montana uh, with something off the ranch. I had a chance to talk with Brent Ruby, who's now my partner. And we sat down at, uh, for a cup of coffee and started talking about jer beef jerky. And at the end of an hour, we came up with the idea of making um, a food bar that instead of using soy or whey, used beef protein and that was savory. I got to thinking, you know, I am pretty tired of all these cookie candy, peanut buttery, brownie flavors. Why can't we make a bar that's got that beef, let that be the foundation of foods that taste like they're off your dinner plate? No. It's funny, I, uh, sometimes I'm not too sure who, who our competition is because we're so different. It's, it's unique because there's really, truly nothing like it. Uh, on the marketplace. Cooper called and uh, we got to talking and I thought it sounded like a great opportunity and uh, a year and a half later, here we are. So far, we're just in the initial stages of really ramping up, so it's been a challenge just to, to figure out all the processes involved. We're still getting the tweaks worked out and how we evolve everything from start to finish and, and we're starting to iron that all out seeing those packages come rolling off of that machine. It's, uh, it's quite fascinating to see that uh, finished product being done. So in a way it was designed for the, the Montana lifestyle, be you a hiker, a hunter, a kayaker, uh, be you an ultra endurance runner, uh, whatever it might be, you know, living here in Montana is something that would keep you satisfied and, um, and keep you going for long periods of time. Sure, I've been uh, trail running at a competitive level for about 10 years, uh, mostly with the ultra distance events. Um, to kind of prioritize 100 mile events. Yeah, it's totally different than other products. You bite into an Omni bar and you, you're like, wow, this is, this is something different. Yeah, I use it because it is real food. That's the most appealing thing to me. It's got you know, five or six ingredients and you can pronounce all of them. It acts uh, as a, as a great sort of source of slow burning endurance fuel. Oh, I think we're in about 26 stores here around Missoula and different places around Montana and some online places are interested and some grocery stores, so um, some grocery chains on, on the coast. So we're, we're starting to get where we need to go. I think with, with, with the product, we're constantly, or I'm constantly thinking of new directions where we can take it. So I'm not completely satisfied with where we are. I want more flavors, I want other products. We're a small state in terms of population. Our economy is tiny, it's tough. You know, there's very little money around, but at the same time, uh, there's an openness and an access and an interest that you can tap into people. And uh, if you have an honest and interesting and genuine idea or thought or concern, um, yeah, people will give you the time of day. So it's, in some ways, it's a brutal place to start business. And in other ways, it's a great place to start business. So it's sort of finding that piece of Montana that's made in Montana, that's unique to Montana, uh, and who we are and where we are that you can offer folks.